Hey guys, it's me again, and today I'm going to be guiding you through on how to make your own fonts using the Clickifer. So, just click on the website link. So here I'm just scrolling down, looking at everything on the website. It's really, really good. And then you're just going to sign up. Um, I press the wrong button here, so you're supposed to press the get started free free button. Here you just type your email and then your password and confirm your password just like the usual. And of course click the I agree in the terms and conditions. Just submit that, the form. So here you're going to be redirected. You need to be, um, you need to validate your email, yeah, is that the word? So just open up your Gmail and then click the redirect link and you're good to go. So you just need to start the app right away. And this is the tutorial, I mean the steps. So just click on that and download the templates. Here, um, there are tons of templates for different, um, what should I say, types for different languages, yeah, like mathematics and then French or Japanese, everything. And just download it. You can adjust the size. And make sure to use the or click the characters in the background because it's really important. Yeah. And that's the PDF. Just download it right away. And then open the zip. And I already opened the zip here. And oh no, no, just the PDF, yeah. And here you need to export it to JPEG uh, because I use um, Fire Alpaca. I, d I don't know if you can open it with PDF. Yeah, no, you can't. So I just opened it with Fire Alpaca, but first you need to convert it to JPEG first. And just open all of them. Oh, I made a mistake because I did one before filming, so it kind of got replaced. So <laughs> I need to export it right away. Again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is so unprofessional. <laughs> yeah, and then open it. Oops. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> Again, open the two of them right away. So in here, you're just going to make new layers for your font. But make sure that you're using the guidelines there and the, yeah, the lines. Because it's really important or else your font is going to look pretty chaotic. <laughs> This is just okay. I'm gonna go. Um, I'm going to skip this. Okay, bye. And I'm back. So you're just going to save all of them. Yes. Save, save, save. What are you doing? Yes. And then you're just going to upload your template. Or you can name it first. <laughs>
Yeah, so open template. Uh, two. You can't. You can't press two of them right away. Yes, and then publish. And there you go, you have your own fonts. You can delete some of them or of course straight away just process it. And then you can edit your font again, the line spacing or tons of other things and then just build your font right away. Download all of them, the two of them, using the two links given to you. And yes, this is the preview. And my fonts, I just did it for this tutorial, so it's not really great, but it's not that bad, you know. <laughs> okay, and then just install your font. And if you're in Mac, open up the pages and you can test your own font. So here I'm just comparing between the, I don't know what's called, Hefetica, yes, and your own font, basically. And I guess this is it. I wanted to show you my other fonts because I already finished, um, my other phone before the tutorial but sadly I forgot to do that and I'm so tired of filming show let's just use this crappy phone <laughs> and it's too small <laughs> you can just go back and change the size <laughs> But I'm just too lazy, I'll change it here. <laughs> and it's too big. <laughs> yeah, make it bigger, bigger. Yes, hello. And there you have it. This is my tutorial on how to use Calligrapher to make your own fonts. Hope you guys enjoy and see you later, I guess. Bye.